Welcome back guys, Kelsey and Dr. Dollar. This is the Captain's Log and we are live. Today we have a lot of good stuff to talk about. I heard there's a new drug and it's called Addy. Addy. And it, it's for your female Viagra version. Yes, it's we, I, we as a matter of fact, we had a lot and of And I'm distributing it that. to everybody. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to go also and rep? share this. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently I'm the Oops. new spokesperson. Perfect. I think. Maybe. I have questions for you. Okay, you so tell me when you're ready. I'm ready for your questions today. Ask the doll. Ask the doctor. This is Doctor Dollar. Make you holla on the captain's log. Here we go, Kelsey. Let me hear what you got. Okay, so what is Addy? Well, Addy is a drug that, as a matter of fact, was approved about three years ago, but is coming back to the market. It's a, it's the, the first and only FDA-approved sex um, um, a drug to improve sexual desires in both men and women, but it was designed for women. Okay. So, so how does it work? Very good question. So Addy works on your brain. Unlike, you know, Viagra and Levitra and Cialis that works on the penis, or on the clitoris, improve blood flow, Addy works on the brain. So in the brain, you have different neurotransmitters. You have something called serotonin. Serotonin is something that br put the brakes on sex. When serotonin is up, you feel like your desire to have sex decreases. When dopamine and norepinephrine are up, your desire to have sex increases. So Addy imp increases the uh, dopamine level as well as norepinephrine level and decreases serotonin level. So essentially it, it, it tunes things up in the brain. So could you do like a cocktail of like Viagra and Addy? Oh my God, everyone's gonna be doing this now. <laughs> Yeah, you can, but but again, there's, That's no what study, does, I think. there's no good study for women that Viagra that we take for men is improving sexual desire at all. So Viagra overall, even for men, Viagra does not improve. When you take Viagra, it does not improve your sexual desire. It will improve your sexual function. Oh, but this desire. Addy is for like, desire. maybe it's for Addy for additional sex drive. Uh, maybe, maybe. So the FDA is very meticulous about the name, that the name cannot imply something. So the way they spell it, it's A-D-D-Y-I. It's a weird spelling, but most drugs today are, are spelled in a weird way that, that it won't be a, a marketing business. Add your interest. Wow. I like that. Add yeah. your interest. Add so, your interest. So is it a hormone? No, no, it's not a hormone. So it works in the brain and, and it's not a hormone, which is fantastic because a lot of women are apprehensive about taking hormones. Right. Uh, so this is a non-hormone, which is, which is wonderful. Does that make it more safe? Yes, it, it does make it uh, more safe, for, especially for women with breast cancer, or history of breast cancer, uterine cancer, uh, that are, again, are apprehensive about, uh, about taking hormones. Well, but the question is, is it actually proven that it makes them horny? Is that what it does? Absolutely. So they horny. Did, yes, I mean the word Woo! horny. Horny is not as medical term as as increased desire. It is increased what Kelsey desire talking. sounds much better. It is what Kelsey. Really fancy way of asking. Does it really work? <laughs> right. Yeah. You 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 He's spend enough be, time with me to cocktails. use the word desire instead of horny. That's right. Okay. We need to. You we are need like to a have. like very soon you're going to be a doctor. This is or true. A semi -doctor, I'm from close already. Quasi doctor. <laughs> a pseudo doctor. Key. Pseudo doctor. <laughs> Not to make Brian a pseudo doctor, oh, God. but but yes, he does. So they, they, as a matter of fact, when they submitted to the FDA, they had one of the largest cohort, the largest if, um, group of people, eleven thousand people. They they studied the drug on. Well, who wouldn't be willing to try it? Yeah, you know, uh, but you know if, if they asked me, I would have. You would have been in. I would have as been a female. in. <laughs> because I'll tell you a little bit very soon. I'm, I'm going to tell you about the study. It's pretty neat. You would have been in as well. I promise you. <laughs> I they, have an imagination it's going crazy right have, now. Do they have any rates for how many people it worked on? Like yeah, yes. who reported it? Right. So Andy works about sixty percent of women with hyposexual desire. Um, it, it works on. So hyposexual desire, how common is it? One in ten women overall have that. So it's only ten percent, but still it's a lot of women. And if you can improve those women that have decreased desire. And again, the decreased desire is like only ten percent of the women are not horny and not desire having a lot of headaches. desire. Ten percent of the women can benefit from this drug. Yes. So you're saying that the other ninety percent, they just no, they have other issues. They just so yeah, <laughs> I didn't say that. I want the ninety percent. I'm right, not going to right, right. ten percent. So, so some of them have other issues. Some of them have hormonal issues. Some of them they don't want to have sex with their significant other because he's an ass. He's yeah. not a nice guy. Right. Some of them they have uh, an ass pill for that. <laughs> right. I mean, or, or they have somebody else on the line. Right. So it's designed for women that have decreased desire 
for their they are in a relationship but they have decreased desire for any man not just their husband or spouse to any man they they just don't want to have sex and doesn't it like to be a can a good candidate for addy you cannot have another reason for why they have low desire that's right? correct like their that's hormones correct. are good it, they're... correct it has it, it, the hormones have to be in balance everything has to be in balance their husband is is a nice guy he's not an ass and and he is he's doing the dishes when he needs to do the dishes i always say the best way to get laid is do the dishes. Let's you want to do the dishes, there's a good chance you're going to have sex. So okay. the question is, is it's currently available on the market right now, right? Correct. And how much is it? It's 90 bucks, about between 90 to $100. If you have insurance- A dose? No, for a month. Now, you if you have insurance, day. you take it every day. If you have insurance, it's only $25. By no. the way, Addy is not sponsoring the Captain's Log, but if they have any desire <laughs> to contact me to do so, we could be found easily. Just comment, <laughs> post right below. If you guys want to know anything about, you know, that we're not answering the right questions or asking the right questions, we ask, we answer your questions. So you guys have to tell us. You can comment. You can DM us. We're on the Captain's Log. You can always find us on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Dr. Dollar is on there. Kelsey, myself. And you can just comment. We'll get back to you. If Absolutely. you don't want to, um, you know, Absolutely. chime in right now. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, and again, not every doctor can write this prescri prescription. Um, you know, this prescription, only certain doctors that only, pass... Only non-doctors that are desire, have oh, a lot of desire. No, no. Doctors oh. that are progressive, that have passed a certain test that the FDA mandate the company that they are going to pass that can prescribe Addy. So you can't start prescribing. You cannot, not brand. every doctor, you cannot go to any doctor and... and How soon before prescribe. I get... Pseudo doctors can't prescribe that. <laughs> right, right. How soon okay. before I get qualified? Am I close? So a few more years with me, Brian, and I give you a white coat and you look like George Clooney. That's right. From there, ER. I have a question that I didn't see on here. Is there any, like, maybe over-the-counter that would be similar to Addy? No. Okay. Very good question. And a lot of people ask like me. Horny people goat ask weed. me about, about you, you know, oysters. Everybody heard about oysters, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, you're going to take some oysters. Oysters, really, the, the, no study in the world showed that oysters. Wait a second. I own a raw bar here. Yeah, wait a second. <laughs> well, <laughs> they, they say they, now, they're now, very good for you, right? Oysters are very good for you. Oysters are healthy for you. <laughs> He's As a matter of fact, them there by is the a bucket. good chance that if you go to a off the hook comedy club right. and you're going to order oysters, there's a good chance you're going to get late because right. you're going to <laughs> have your happy. girlfriend or happy. your spouse happy. She is going to dance. She's going Feed, to be happy. She's fed, going to drink a little fed, bit. She's going to be drink, fed good food. And then, boom. And you, and boom. Here comes but, the magic. But the oyster by themselves, that's, you know, it's a, the person that you are having the oysters with and how you present yourself, your disposition overall. If you're an ass and you have an oyster, you right. can have a bucket full of oysters. Right. Nothing will happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I was going to say something really, but I won't. Today so, it's, uh, I'm, I'm mellow today. We're making it PG-13 yes, today. Yes, yes. I'm very PG. restricted today. All right. Here we go. So the one question was, why is it such a big deal? But I would say that it's because it's first, only approved, no alternative. Absolutely. Right? It's so, a huge deal. It's yeah. a huge it's, a, it's about time that pharmaceutical company pay attention to women. Pra pharmaceutical company always pay attention to men. Viagra, La Vitra, Cialis, all the time on TV, commercial, this and this and right. this, get an erection. And then women were uh, not that important. Good luck with that It's thing. about time. <laughs> it's about time they pay attention. Okay, so um, how long does it take um, to work? Very good. So about four weeks. So I, within four weeks, we know if it's working or not. So it's not like you Viagra, know. you take one, either worse or it doesn't. Addy, you take for a month and then... You that's hope, co that's you correct. Hope it. Yeah, right. All right. Right. So you take it for at least a month before deciding if it's not effective for you. Right, that's the deal. At least a month before you're deciding, but most of my patients about three months before I will stop Addy and I will say, you know what, Addy is not for you. Let's okay. look at how other long issues. have you been prescribing it? Now about three months. Three months. Three months. And are the women coming back like just tearing their clothes off when they no, walk in? No, no. So it doesn't make you, you, you know, hypersexual. It does, it's not an aphrodisiac. This is not, uh, you, you know, uh, going to make you hypersexual. It's going to improve your se the number of times that you're going to have sex by one. So if you had sex once a week, you're going to have sex twice a week. It's a big deal. If you had sex zero times a week, you're going to have once a week. It's a big deal. How does it know which week it is? Uh, you know, it has a calendar there. On, <laughs> on <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, wow. So, so it's people don't have to worry about like desiring sex more and being 
Brian's word horny, it, they won't make them hypersexual. It's called desirable, Kelsey. Wow. Well, How many times do I have to tell you? Increase it's desire. Increasing about, desire on the captain's log. Okay, so what about ability to say no? Like, will you just want to have sex all the time? Oh, or? oh your ability yeah. to, say, to say no has to do with your own judgment. That's called alcohol and tequila. That, that, that's, you know, if you, have, if you have good judgment, your ability to say no will not change. No drug, no, none of these pharmaceutical drugs will change your ability to say no. Okay, so are there any bad side effects? There are some side effects. So, so the, the, the thing that obviously as a doctor I'm concerned about is the relationship between alcohol and the drug. So they did in the 11,000 patients that they did, they were looking for men and women that are going to have two to four shots of vodka and the drug and to see the effect. A lot and of they women still be awake. And they might and still want to have sex. <laughs> oh. So a lot of the women, as a matter of fact, says, no way, I'm not going to have four shots of yeah, vodka. Yeah, but they the drink drug. a martini that's got, you know, six ounces of vodka in it. No, but but you know when the FDA they run tests, they, it's it's very high standards. I mean, they yeah. one, it's not good vodka. Nothing like <laughs> no, a, no, the nothing captain. like a captain's vodka. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not good we vodka. have no standards. And the amount is really yeah. harsh, and and they don't mix it like a mixed drink with an umbrella. They don't give the umbrella and all this right, stuff. They right. give you a shot that looks horrific. So um, it shows that you really shouldn't mix alcohol and the drug. So there is a red box, I'm sorry, a black box a warning that if you take the drug and you are deciding to have alcohol, one, you should not take it with alcohol. And if for some reason you had a couple of drinks, skip the drug for one day. Oh yeah? Why? Yeah. Because what happens? Because the, the side the effect- the vaginas of, fall off? No, 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 no. It has to do with the side effect. Side effect of the drug uh, increase <laughs> and as a result you have more dizziness and, and the, hypotension. I still okay, like so my answer. Is my answer is much pressure. better. Uh, correct. Dizziness is the main issue. Okay. okay. So you would you stop, would you not take it, do you take it in the morning or nighttime or does it matter? It really doesn't make any difference oh. when you take okay. it. And can you stop it at any time if you had side effects? Absolutely. So the drug is not addictive and there, there's no need to wean you off the drug. You can stop it at any time. If it doesn't work, we stop it. If we want to, to do something else, we stop it. Uh, we can take a break always uh, and stop the drug. Yes. Side effect, do people gain weight when taking Addy? No, as a matter of fact, in those 11,000 patients, some of them lost weight. The drug Ooh. is not designed wow. for weight loss, but... Uh, but because uh, they were more active. We, you know, you feel better about yourself yeah. when you are when you are sexually active right. and you look in the mirror and you say, "Wow, I feel good." It's a good thing. So don't take it for weight loss, but maybe an added benefit. Correct. Right? You already said who can prescribe it. So, Kelsey, we'll, how long have you been taking Addy? None. None. I'm in the ninety percent. Kelsey needs the antidote. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she needs the antidote. <laughs> Um, so is there any issue with feeling desire for someone else other than like a spouse or something? Like, will it make you more attracted to Oh, that's a good people? question, oh, Doc. If they're taking it, they're going to start looking at, looking outside the relationship. So, so the, better, the better question is like, if, if let's say you are attractive, you're attracted to somebody else, but you want to take the drug to be attracted to your spouse or your boyfriend, the answer, this drug is designed for people that have no attractiveness to any men. So not just if you are attracted it's to somebody else. It's just a panty drop. It's for correct. Those, it's for those it's, women it's, that can look at a really hot it, guy and still not want to sleep with him. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. So again, if you are not attracted to your husband and you are not attracted to anybody else, that's that's the right drug for you. So it's almost for those women who want to want to have sex, right? Like they absolutely, don't, you. Yeah. It has to come from from those patients. It so they have the patient that wants to have sex, but then they just don't? They, they, correct. They can, they don't, they, you know, they I'm have, women it. have gas and brake that is different than us. Brian, you don't have full any brakes. You <laughs> have <laughs> only gas. You press I'm, on the I'm gas. I'm all gas, <laughs> baby. I'm all full, gas. Full throttle. Women have brakes and gas. Again, if I don't do the, the, the laundry, I don't help them, my wife with the dishes, I don't help with the homework, I don't get then laid. You get a, then you hire a maid. That, <laughs> that's what I do. Don't put the apron on <laughs> right away. I know, but, that's what but I she do. wants to see a part there. She wants to see, oh, somebody is helping me. Somebody yeah. is doing going to the public. Somebody is going to help me with, uh, with the homework. Somebody is doing all this stuff. They want to feel that. And they, they put the brake on sex if they don't feel that you're part of it. And I mean, Hey, we're Nothing. done. Okay. That was a good list. I know. <laughs> well, that's all the questions about Addy that we received. Oh, that was good. Those were some good Great questions. questions. Fast, Great rapid questions. Rapid fire. I Anybody love it. else have any? I had a question that someone asked me. 
Why is it the guy says why after he has sex? is engorged it it it's difficult to urinate also if you still have a hard-on mm -hmm. if you still have an erection after you ejaculate it's very difficult to pee when you have an erection so your urination is not as good but if you wait a few more seconds you are able to urinate okay that was good did you have any questions that you had otherwise we just have to talk about all the, all the have, other stuff you have any more questions I there i think they they were meaning that is not medical so there's no without drugs. What okay. ways without drugs? Okay. So number one is decrease stress. And, and you know, it's very vague and sounds, you know, what are you talking about, Dr. Dalla? How can I dec decrease stress? Look at my life. Brian, you know, Captain Brian wakes up at five in the morning. He's on the run. He's on the bike. He's on the show. He is going to the radio. He is going to the to his uh, restaurant. He is going to uh, pick up somebody from the airport. He's going to pick up his kids. He's <sighs> going to do this. He's going to I'm do that. Uh, so, so what can you do? So, how do you decrease stress? Yeah, I watched you yesterday doing yoga, and I was, the, I decreased my own stress by doing that. Oh, so, yoga is say, a wonderful thing. Yeah, that was what lovely. What you did yesterday was was lovely. My Let's technique, make YouTube my there. technique was a little off though. How was it? Your, your technique was, you I know what, you for a guy, head. it wasn't bad at it all. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. So, <laughs> take a here. so it wasn't a, a bad technique at all. So yoga is fantastic. It's relaxing. You know, it's like, you know, I know you did it at the beach, but if you do it in a room, in a house, when with, uh, you, you know, when it's darker a little bit, it's so, I, I when I do yoga, I feel with completely, Kelsey. completely relaxed. Yes. I feel like a different person. I wake up and say, wow, you know, the last, I love, I love in yoga the last five minutes when you know they make you lie shavasana? down shavasana oh, i love like... shavasana <laughs> when they say shavasana when they turn off the light and say shavasana i say yes <laughs> yes we did well so shavasana is fantastic i didn't I get me. know i didn't get no me. no I at the beach you cannot yeah. do that i had a question for uh is it anna or anna that, that does the yoga? it's anna yeah is there any issue you know guys are so relaxed is there ever issues with erections at the end of yoga is oh, that a thing I, I feel like that would be a man we have fear. to ask I, anna I, hey bridget how are you anna uh, I don't know if you're on there right now, but do uh, guys pop in boners at the uh, at the yoga studio? I don't know. I'm not going to be surprised. I you were talking surprised. about girls in yoga pants. Yes. How relaxed you are. Yeah. Decreased stress. She's yeah. beautiful. I'd be like, mm. yeah. if I was a guy, I'd... Like, and and if they don't know, the last time you educated us that yoga girls are, are horny. Studies show that yoga women have more what sex. What about yoga men? So that's the I, I don't know, I guess. I don't know how many yoga guys are you out there. You didn't report back to you, us. You know, I, I go to yoga. I do yoga once a week. And, and, you know, I see one more guy with me. I mean, it's mainly women. Yeah. Uh, that's I, a good I place to go, though. Good place. I, I know. I know. I'm not trying to pick good... up people in bars anymore. Yeah. So, again, so let's go back to the question, the, the listener question. So, stress, really. Why stress? Because when you're stressed, there's a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol goes up. Cortisol goes up. Testosterone goes down so you want to find your whatever it takes whether it's yoga martial arts meditation whatever it takes to relax number one number two healthy eating when you eat you know an apple versus a mcdonald you're going to feel much much better you know you're going to feel good about yourself when you eat healthy you feel great you you're going to boost your your sexual energy as well as you're going to look better in the mirror and that's going to help speaking you speaking of what we eat yeah we see those uh like instagram ads are you eating this banana it's giving you a, a limp one or whatever right what is that ad so is the be is it berries or something like blackberries and blueberries do they give you a, a good so uh, blackberry, blueberries are fantastic yeah. antioxidants. There is no. But study a banana is a boner killer. Is no, that, no, no. Banana, I, I don't eat too many bananas, but banana is not a bone killer at all. Boner killer at all. Um, um, but but again, it's high, high sugar. I mean, you, Kelsey you, not returning our phone calls. That's a boner killer. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But but overall, I mean, again, healthy eating. Uh, don't eat processed food. Don't eat canned goods. Stuff like that. Eat clean. Kelsey is eating very, very clean now. I see she what she's is. She's every getting ready day. for she's a eating, big, big she's pageant. She's eating yeah. salads and, and tuna and, and very, very healthy. Uh, 
Number three, exercise. Exercise, Brian, you know that. You're an avid about that. Yes. You know, whatever you do, exercise, break a sweat. When you exercise, your your overall well-being is great. When your well-being is great, your sexual well-being is going to be better. When you look good in the mirror, you're going to look good in the bed. Overall, also, when you exercise, you, there are certain positions that are going to improve blood flow to that area. Uh, so that's uh, fantastic. Wait, it's positions that improve the blood flow? Of course. I mean, if you're going to work on your hips and your legs, and your quads and your, uh, you know, glute. It's going to improve blood flow to your it's pelvis. Gonna... That's where the blood flow to right, the penis yeah. and the All clitoris. right, ladies, get those, get those glutes going. Get those glutes going, ladies. Oh, my gosh. Right. But if all fails, you know, we, we definitely we can check your hormone, check your testosterone, check other hormones, see what we need to do to tune you up. Tune up. Yeah, that's what we need is a good tune up. Tune up. So... When we, uh, I think he told thing. you to do a left. Uh, left where am I going? You need to go left. Yeah. Oh, I'm going left. Yeah. I'm going. Where are we going? We're going to Krispy Kreme, the new opening. Oh gosh. We gotta see. I gotta make Kelsey eat. She's gonna eat six hot. Krispy nope. Kreme. Not yeah, not hot. You need to eat Wait. them hot. Kelsey and I, we're going to just look at Brian eating. No, a I'm donut. not gonna go and eat if you're not gonna no, eat. He's trying to look good. It. He did that reduction around his abs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I know, right? That was good. The 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 ab let's thing. Take the left. By the way, we did we middle. let's tell them real quick what that was. Uh, oh, the vest, the, the vela shape. Oh, the vela shaping. Yeah, yeah. So, that's, so Brian, Brian did the vela shape, and yeah. so we have two machines: the vela shape and the ultra shape. Amazing machine. The vela shape is designed really to tighten your skin up. So patients, do women we, with with uh, cellulites and anything like that, it will tighten things up. For men. Uh, again, I, I had the Vela shape. I mean, a six pack galore. Yeah. I love it. Uh, the ultra shape really busts the, the adipose tissue. Uh, so it decreases the, the amount of fat you have by about, we can lose about an inch of your midsection. Now, again, if you have like three, four inches, it's not going to help much. But if you have one inch and you want to get rid of it, that machine is amazing. Ultrasound. It's it's not uncomfortable, meaning it's it's Less. fairly comfortable, uh, and the patients do extremely extremely well with that. It's here. Where where, where we going? Oh, really next next one. It's hey, right, right there. Hey. Right there. We're right really there. going there. Yeah, next one. Next one. Well, I can't pull Aww. out now. I can't pull out. Yeah, now. wait, wait. You will be able. To. We're gonna you go. Be able. They want to go to the you Krispy Kreme because I got some more B. Oh, all right. Let's get Kelsey donuts. back. Let's get Kelsey back then. <laughs> we don't want to go to Krispy Kreme and just watch the captain eat Krispies. No, I don't have time. Creamy. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get, get Kelsey going over here. Kelsey. And I think it's rude to just shove it in my face. Yeah, I know, you especially do. when you're doing a pageant. Yeah, so yeah. let's see. All right, here we are. Um, Addy, right? Look, guys, Dr. Dollar is peddling this stuff now. No, just kidding. But you, you're gonna need it. If you need it, you gotta get it, right? Oh, it says your brain may be working against you. Look at that. It comes to sex. Yes, that's right. And then we have this one. Turn the light switch on. Yep, turn it on. Let's see where are we at. Oh, Hit the boom. I can't see it. We got a bad. We got a lot of glare, and then we have her. If you, you just you have, have her, her <laughs> that works no matter what. <laughs> you don't even need anything else. Just her. That's right. Uh, that'll work. So millions of uh, pre-menopause women suffer from distressing low sexual desire. There hasn't been a treatment until now, Addie. Wow, that's catchy. Amazing. I just said, so I'm not going to say it's the desire. So on the show from now on, this is like the desire log because they're, you can't say he's horny. Instead of using horny, it sounds yeah, much more which, sophisticated that's right. desire yeah. uh, right than horny. You have to have a, like a desire. Yeah, the like hot a, desire. Desire, right? Yeah. Sounds like, like and a and again, slowly, slowly we're going to make you a professor. <laughs> if not a doctor, a professor. I could get like a, uh, what do they call?